Hi, I'm Neil. I'm on the exhibition floor, and I'm here today to talk with Peter about modernizing desktop apps. Well, first of all, what kind of apps are we talking about modernizing? We're talking about modernizing any kind of uh, Windows application. So that could be a Win32 application using U0 GDI. Yeah. It could be a WPF application in .NET, or it could be a WinForms application in .NET. At what level is this technology available? We uh, ship the uh, modern web view, so the, the same HTML renderer that Edge has yes. is now available in WPF. From the non-UI side of things, Ever since we first started with Windows 10, we've been adding more and more of the Windows 10 APIs to desktop applications um, so that you can integrate with things like authentication, enterprise data protection, uh, the surface dial, so we're just adding more and more functionality so that all Windows apps, whether they were Win32 or modern, get access to all of the functionality in Windows 10. So once you kind of modernize these apps, then how will that then relate to UWP? Is there a path forward then? Yeah, so we've had this thing called the desktop bridge, the idea being that you start with a Win32 application, WPF, WinForms, etc. Mm -hmm. And over time, you can start adding in new functionality to light up on Windows 10. And you can take that application and move it to the Windows Store, if you want, as a desktop bridge application. But it still only runs on a desktop Windows PC. Yeah. If you want to run it on a HoloLens or an Xbox or another kind of Windows device, you can start to slowly migrate and move over the old Win32 pieces, so the old UI and some of the old APIs that aren't supported, and eventually you kind of go across the bridge from being a Win32 app to a desktop bridge app all the way over to a UWP app, and once you've made it all the way to UWP, you can run across any Windows device. Well, that's great. Uh, well, thanks for chatting for me today. No worries.